Hello, welcome to Chess Frame. As part of this video, we are going to understand how to install or set up the Google CLI or command line interface in Windows. So this is very useful in some of the cases, right? In Google Console, the command line interface or command shell will be disabled. So in that case, you can connect with the GCP from your local environment and you can execute the command. So in that case, this is very helpful in this approach. So you can able to connect to Google Cloud and you can able to run the commands. So that's the main purpose. So before using the CLI, so first we need to do the setup in your local machine. So right now I'm going to show how to do the setup in a Windows environment. So first let's get started. So before doing the setup, so you need to download the CLI executable file and then we can able to use it first let me download it so to download this one you can go to google uh, you can type google cli download so you can download the gcp cli download so then you will be getting a link so inside that you just go little down so right now we are using the windows operating system so just select it by default so first you need to download the google cloud cli so you can click over here so it is trying to download so we can able to download that one right now so for that now we have to install the cli setup so what you have to do so you can click this one agree so we are going to use the single user let make it as simple so what i have to do here so I am going to install this CLI in a specific location in my drive. So let me go to D drive and then I want to put it in a different place called software. So I want to put here CLI. Okay, let me create a new folder. So inside that gcp iphone cli so this is the place i want to install it let me take it and open this one so you can replace this one so i want to install the cli tool in my specific location so give this one as iphone and then next so you can install so you can click on show details so that way you can able to see the progress so but it will take couple of minutes to install all the relevant things so for that purpose I'm just going to pass the video so once the installation is done then we can move on it so let me pass it So the, now the CLA related libraries have been downloaded. So just move on next. So then in the finish page. So I want to do the init myself. So I don't want to do it right now or here. So finish it. So now we have installed the setup completely. So if you want to use or if you want to connect to a specific Google account and you want to execute your commands over here. So before that, you need to log in into the gcp environment by using user id password whatever authentication you have and then you can able to use over here so to connect from this window to your account what you have to do so you have to run a specific command called a g cloud init so what is that g cloud g c l o u d init so what are the commands we have to use it over here if you see over here so i have listed out the command so we are going to use a g cloud unit so this command will be useful to connect to your specific gcp account and to get the recommended credentials into your cli interface so then you can able to communicate from your cli to your google account so that's the main purpose of uh, this g cloud unit and then press enter just to maximize it so it is giving an option 
two ways so do you want to reconfigure this account with the new settings because it previously i have already connected to one of my accounts so that's the reason it's asking create a new configuration so let me do a new brand new configuration so let me give this is a test so now it is connecting to say yes then it will try to open the account so now here so you have to use which account you have to use to connect to your gcp account so i'm going to use use another account and i have a specific list of username so let me enter my username and then password also i have it so this is my password and then enter it so connect it so basically now I am going to connect with my Google account continue hello so now you connected to your Google account and if you want you can go to console and you can come back to your account so now your CLI interface connected to your Google account it fetch required credentials and it is trying to ask you to which project you want to use it so that is the way you have to select if you come back over here your uh, gcp click ok and you can see here how many projects is there so right now here you can see two projects is there quick lab resource quick lab gcp 00 something so i'm going to use this is my project id ending with 8a6 so that i want to select it so this is the first one so let me enter it so this is the project i'm going to use it so it is trying to connect to your gcp project so now you connected to your gcp project which have you selected over here the first one quick left gcp the whatever this one and now you are into that environment so now we can able to run all the commands whatever you can able to run in gcp cloud shell say for instance so now if you want to run a command like a gsut list so what it will do it will try to display is there any gcp storage buckets are available G S U T I L L S press enter. So what it will do? It will try to look for in this project. Do we have any storage buckets? If it is there, it will try to display. But right now, if you see here, we don't have any storage bucket. It's not able to display anything blank. So let me create a simple storage bucket so that you will understand. So this is the project I have selected, and now. <coughs> Yes, now go back to cloud storage buckets. I'm going to create a simple bucket. So let me copy the bucket name as my project ID so that I can able to. <laughs> so I don't have any buckets. I'm just creating a simple bracket and then I will try to continue. Continue. Okay, that's it. Confirm. So I just created a new bucket bucket name is ending with 8a6 and now i will go back to my command window and let me rerun the same command and we will see do we get anything back so if you see here we are getting back your google storage bucket name so that means it is trying to connect to your google storage and it will try to look for the bucket names do we have any so that's the way you can able to connect to your a gcp environment by using the gcloud auth so that's the first command we used gcloud init and now we can able to run some other gsutil commands and finally if you want to come out or log out from your command window so you can use gcloud auth auth revoke so you are going to use a command called gcloud auth revoke which will be used to come out from the command window it's a kind of logout so basically what we are trying to do we are trying to log out from your cli interface whatever the account you previously logged in so that so we can avoid misuse so now it's seeing so revoked credentials saying that this user is logged out from this 
CLI interface. Now, if you try to execute any command, say for instance, yes, it will. It will try to say there is no user is available. So that's the range saying that it's not able to look for any buckets because we have already logged out. So this is the way once your usage is done, you have to log out from the CLI interface so that nobody else can use it. Okay, so I think that's all about uh, this video how to install or set up CLI interface in Windows environment. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to the channel for more subsequent updates. And thank you, thank you so much.